Coming up on House and Home, Chef Francois prepares the mayonnaise salad dressing, Brian Bell showcases its special surprises for Independence Day, tech people with cybersecurity talks, Dr. Ambi addresses middle nut chewing on healthy minds, house movie with another interesting movie review, and finally, Home Cosmetics shows you the correct steps on how to iron your hair. Good evening to you all and welcome to another House and Home episode. I'm so delighted to have you join me once again. An independent celebration greeting from me and the House and Home team. Well, we're in the second week of September, a special month it is in which Papua New Guinea will be celebrating its 41 years of independence for the year 2016. I'm sure everyone is looking forward to being part of the celebrations and if you haven't decided yet on what dish to prepare or how to go about and join with friends and families at least for a change, then rest assured House and Home has got you covered with another salad recipe, brand built with amazing specials for independence and much more. Starting off the show, here's Chef Francois with another delightful recipe. Enjoy! Good evening. Welcome back to the show, the Salad Dressing Show. We're going to do three sequences like we done the vinaigrette on the previous one. Now I'm going to do a mayonnaise for you. So again, okay, mayonnaise, same principle. Ball blommy, the weapon, the whisk. Okay, so what are we going to do? Same, same. You could use mustard or seed mustard. It's up to you. You feel with your taste. So I'm going to put a bit of mustard, blow up. What I'm going to have here, I've got one egg up here. So we show you. We want only the yolk. We just slow white. I'm now. I'm now. I'm now. Okay. We're going to blend it a little bit together. All right. You want to mix it up together. Okay. Now. I'm using a normal cooking oil. You could use olive oil, up to you. But we're going to do a simple one now. Eh? Okay, now, ready. Slowly, slowly. La, 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 la. La 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 That's the start of your mayonnaise. You see, it's going to pick and pick and pick and pick and pick. I'm going to make a bit bigger, so we show you how hard we could put them up. We could go on top of the board if you want to, like blow you. Now, what we have here, you got your mayonnaise. Okay. Remember. I never put salt, I never put pepper, I never put nothing yet. Okay, now to finish your mayonnaise, what are we going to do? Pepper, uh, salt, mix in the click. And flavor blue you, right? Okay, now you could use vinegar or 
Yukodus, lemon juice. I will stay traditional because plenty of lemon in Papua New Guinea, so we will use lemon. I will get one lemon. Oh, no got juice, it's tableau up here. I got another one. And now. Perfect. Very nice. Excellent. So that's your mayonnaise. That is a product, finished product. Okay, you could use it for coleslaw, you could use it for salad, you could use it for sandwich, you could use it for anything you want. That one must go in the fridge. You can't leave it outside. You leave it outside and bag it up, finish. Are you looking? I'm all right, huh? I'm fig lig lig, huh? I'm good, bro. No, time you're making coleslaw, time you're making salad or something, I'm salad blow you, bro, I'm dressing blow up. I'm good, bro. Tasty, very nicely. Hey, what else can we say? Come back to the next sequence for the next salad dressing. Thank you to be with me. Love you all. Good night. Okay, remember that's a mayonnaise. Okay, what I, what I used to make that mayonnaise, I was one teaspoon of mustard. Could be mustard or seed mustard or Dijon mustard. Dijon the best. That's French to make a mayonnaise. Okay, by using that one, I'm using pepper. I'm using salt. Okay, you remember, and vinegar, and the an eggs. Step by step. Mustard, it go first. Egg yolk, it go first. Mixing, 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 that's all. Time you kiss him oil, you must build it up slowly, slowly, slowly. You don't can put him too much oil low up. Time you put him too much oil and collapse. They must stay straight like that. You build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. When it's built it up for what you, what you need, that's when you put your lemon juice or you put vinegar if you don't have lemon. The same, you could put balsamic vinegar, you could put white vinegar, you could put cider vinegar, it's up to up your taste blow you. And what I'm going to do on that one, I did not put any garlic, I did not put anything on it, but I'm going to put a little touch of parmesan. I love parmesan, parmesan is good. So what I'm going to do, I get a little sprinkle of parmesan and put him right after solder. Parmesan. I'm going to mix it up to get the main fix. I'll have to give some to the curry mama one spoon. Huh? Oh yes, he likes, the, he likes his mayonnaise. He'll love it. Yeah. So as you see, I'm going to show you on the... Don't take the eggs, huh? Okay. The consistency of it. You see? She's thick. She's nice. They're good for salad, good for coleslaw, good for green salad. Tam kakaylo fish too. Tam you kakay fish, steamed fish, put him on top, and good plat for you. Mm. Huh? Mm. Well, that's a mayonnaise. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Not sweet though. No, 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 no. No sugar. The real mayonnaise don't have any sugar. The real mayonnaise is simple, simple and good. Nice. You see? Very, very nice. Good for salad. That one with the salad is perfect. Or even if you eat some chicken or you eat anything else, you put some mayonnaise on top. Doesn't have to be hot. Yeah. You could have your chicken and get some mayonnaise, throw it on top and eat it. Wow. The flavor is very nice. Honestly, very good. Can you have it in like, you no, know, you can't put in any soups or anything like that? No, 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 no. That's something you use as a, as a, spread. Use, huh? as a spread, as a sauce on your salad or on your meat. Red meat too, yeah. cold red meat, put in some on top, put in your sandwich, your bread, and maybe you can, can finish. And you can, can you take this a dip for chips? Yeah. Yes, perfect. It is perfect for the chips. With some chips, you dip them inside. This is perfect. <laughs> so remember, mustard, egg yolk, beat him, oil, build him up slowly, slowly. Time you go, click, click, click. Time you put in salt, pepper, and lemon juice, blow you plat. Must be in the fridge, can't stay outside. If it's stay outside more than one hour, it'll be bagged up. Or get something to pay blow you and blow rubbish, no good, yeah. Put him in the fridge. I hope you enjoy the show. It's a simple fix. We're doing simple fix to going to get more complicated on the next segments. Thank you to be with you. God bless you all. Love you all. Bonsoir.
an ideal salad recipe to add to your food menu for the Independence celebrations. Thank you Chef Francois for showing us how to prepare the mayonnaise salad dressing. Viewers, let us know if you want to see more of these amazing recipes and please do visit MTV online to catch up on any of the food recipes you've missed out on. Coming up after the break, Leon features some of Brian Bell's independent specials, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Brian Bell has come a long way with its constant services of great products with great prices and it has been continuously offering a wide range of products to businesses, aid agencies, mining companies, government departments and other organizations as well. Brian Bell still has that service to help you with great shopping tips and ideas and the 2016 Independence Day is no exception. Brian Bell has got you covered for the event. Here now is Leon on Shopping with Brian Bell. Hello and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell on House and Home. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. In this segment, we'll show you some of the great things you can find here at Brian Bell to help you with your independent celebration. Things like our New Guinea pots, things like our Coleman outdoor gear. Also, we've got a special announcement later in the show and some great PNG merchandise to help you celebrate this independence. So let's get to it and take a look. Now September 16th marks a very important day in our lives as Papua New Guineans. This is the day set apart where we became a sovereign state, recognized by the world as a country of our own. We've come a long way in such a short space of time. Within generations we've gone from hunter-gatherers and subsistent living lifestyles to living and working in cities with the latest technology. And Brian Bell has been a part of this development in our country with its products and outlets around the country. As you realize by now, we're in Vision City, more commonly referred to as VC. And if you didn't know, then now you do. Brian Bell is located at VC with all the same great products available for you at a more convenient time. To celebrate our upcoming 41st independence, Brian Bell has some great PNG merchandise that you can pick up so you can fit right into the color and the dances on the day. These are things like our shirts, umbrellas, caps, and flags in different sizes. Come on in now, check out the range, pick one up for yourself so you can better celebrate our 41st independence. During this time of celebration, a lot of traveling will be done, whether by land, air or sea. Either people coming in to visit or you taking your family out to the favorite picnic spot where you can spend and enjoy your independence celebration together. All this can be enjoyed a little bit better with our outdoor goods like our eskies, gazebos and folding chairs. These items include our range of Coleman and Austral outdoor gear, particularly our tents or gazebos and eskies that will definitely keep you and your family cool and at the same time keep your food and drinks cool and fresh. Like this Coleman 3x3 gazebo. This product is easy to erect and keeps the sun away and allows refreshing shade for you and your loved ones to enjoy. And while we're at it, these foldable chairs are absolutely perfect for you to take with you. They accompany your gazebos really, really well. They're easy to carry and easy to set up and they support your back and your legs. You don't want to be coming home with a sore back or crook legs. These chairs are the perfect solution for that problem. Take them with you so you can enjoy the dances and the sing sings better during this independent celebration. If there's one thing I know, it's food. I love eating food. During this time of celebration, there will be a lot of meals being shared for the occasion. Meals like mumu or aigir. These are absolutely perfect to be cooked in our aluminium pots sold here at Brian Bell. Whichever dish, you can't go wrong if you get a pot from Brian Bell. We have this big heavy duty aluminium pots in a range of different sizes available for you to choose from. It's tough, robust, and durable. You can cook on both the stove or outdoor kitchens or house cooks, and this aluminium is a great conductor of heat, so your food will get cooked through thoroughly. It's important for you, our loyal customers, to understand that Brian Bell will be open, or Brian Bell Vision City will be open on the public holiday. You can come in, check out the great range of products we have here, and get something for yourself. 
you can either get a washing machine or a fridge at the same time. Our trading hours here at Brian Bell extend a little bit further. Unlike our other home centers, this extends till nine o'clock at night. Now, if you're thinking during this time that Brian Bell has a sale of some sort, then you're absolutely spot on. We have our Independence Day sale. Our Independence Day sale is on at all Brian Bell outlets, so come in and check out the specials available for you. Selected products including products from hardware, outdoor and camping, cookery, electronics, fridges and washing machines are all on special. This has already started and is currently running in all our home centers and will end on the 25th of September 2016. So as you've seen in this segment, Brian Bell has some great quality products that can help you in this year's Independence Day celebration. We got some PNG merchandise like shirts and caps and flags that are absolutely perfect for you to fit into any celebration. Also, our gazebos, eskies and foldable chairs will accompany you anywhere so you can help enjoy the sing sings and the kai kais. Pots from Brian Bell, our aluminum pots, are perfect for you to cook your next meal in, either your mumu or your aigir. Come on in, check these things out and also remember, there's an Independence Day sale here, so come on in, check it out because you might just get that product from Brian Bell that you've been waiting to get at a really good price. And always, always remember, great prices, great products and great after sales service as Brian Bell. Have a happy and safe 41st Independence Celebration and until our next time together, it's goodbye and God bless. So there you go, that was Brian Bell showcasing its Independence Day specials over at the Vision City Waigani, the newest retail store. Viewers, please head on down to this location while you have the chance. Trust me, Brian Bell specials are amazing and you don't want to miss out. We have talked about cybersecurity on Tech People straight out this short breather, so stay watching. In today's world, technology has extended its boundaries furthermore and millions of people have become entirely dependent on its ability to help throughout the working days. Speaking of that, it's best to know very well how your devices are operating and how well you can protect yourself together with your device. Here now is Godfrey Man with Tech People. Now, as the world delves into a more cyber-based society, relying more and more on computers to get through every day, it's also become really difficult to protect ourselves and our systems from cyber threats like computer viruses, hackers, malware, and a whole lot more. The modern-day PC user must be able to identify the security flaws in their systems and know how to protect themselves from these threats. If not, then you're going to have a really bad time. Above all, knowing what you're up against in the digital age, knowing what can be harmful to your computer and to your information is the best way to protect yourself. It's amazing how far technology has come, but you've got to realize that with all these advancements, it's been just made that much easier for people to take advantage of our reliance on technology. So on this week's episode of Tech People, I'll be letting you guys know the best ways to keep your systems and your information all safe. All right, so the easiest thing you can do and the first thing you should do in order to protect your PCs and your mobile devices is to download and install antivirus software. That's going to be your first line of defense and it's pretty much common sense to get one. Honestly, antivirus software can be found almost anywhere and some of the really, really good ones can actually be found online for free. But always be careful when dealing with free stuff online. I mean, there are obviously ones that you can purchase which offer a whole bunch of other features. But the main idea is that you need software that can detect viruses and infected files and do something about them. Whether it's deleting, quarantining them, or attempting to get rid of the virus while making sure your data doesn't get harmed. An added plus that comes with most antivirus softwares these days is that it comes with internet security. So they help you when you're online and browsing. They scan links and pages and inform you about suspicious web pages. Now, once you've got your hands on some decent antivirus software, the next thing you've got to do is keep it up to date. There are a hell of a lot of new viruses created all the time, so you're going to want to be constantly up to date with your virus parameters. Now, an extra line of defense that comes already installed on computers when you buy them is a firewall, which is basically online protection. 
so they help protecting against cyber attacks. Although they come pre-installed with most computers, it's always a good idea to invest in antivirus software that covers another firewall, as this will always be better than the existing one, and it'll add to your list of defenses. Now, as for when you're online, you can have the best protection, you can have the best defenses, but honestly, hackers are getting smarter, faster, and making more effective viruses. I mean, don't get me wrong, antivirus software, firewalls, these will help you a lot, and you absolutely need these but it really comes down to knowing what you're up against and knowing the telltale signs of danger. Now, don't open email attachments for people you don't know. Don't open links to suspicious sites and don't be a victim of clickbait. That is, don't click on these links and banners you see floating along the sides of web pages. More often than not, these links don't really lead to what you think they lead to. And if you're shopping online, only shop from pages that have the secure padlock symbol in the URL bar and they begin with an HTTPS. This tells you that your transaction information is secure and you can shop without much fret of losing any sensitive information. Now, you're better off knowing all these scams so that you're aware of what you need to be avoiding and how you can protect yourself. Read articles about new scams, see it in the news, and if you're unlucky enough to be a victim of any of them, spread the word and make sure people know about them. There are a multitude of pages, bait, and spam emails that are just phishing techniques that seek to retrieve your credentials, account numbers, or any other kind of compromising information. That being said, on social media, do not overshare or give out credentials or anything compromising. Remember, anything you put online stays there forever. There's no getting rid of what you share when it comes to the internet. Now, here are a few tips to bolster your security. Now, an obvious one to make your systems and accounts more secure is to make your password stronger and more confusing. The password doesn't have to make sense. and I mean, the less sense it makes, the more secure it is. Another tip is to back up all your files and sensitive documents. If anything happens to your files or your systems, having backups saves you a lot of headache, and I know this from personal experience. And also, when you're playing games online, be wary of who you're communicating with. Not everyone you meet in your favorite online game is friendly. And finally, it pretty much just boils down to the common sense and knowing what you're up against when it comes to keeping your system secure. All these are just basics of what you should do, and the rest is up to you. The security of your computers, mobile devices, and files is just all dependent on you. So get antivirus software, set up firewalls, be aware of dangers, shop online safely, and just be careful of what you share on the internet. And above all else, be careful. Using these tips I've just highlighted, you should have no problem keeping all your data secure. That was Tech People giving us information about cybersecurity. With the growing number of mobile owners and gadget users, it is best to know how to protect ourselves when online. Dr. Ambi will be addressing Bill Nachuin issues in a moment, so please don't leave that seat. Welcome back. Research has revealed that Bill Nachuin has a long history in the South and the Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. It has somewhat become an important cultural and social tradition in these areas. Usually for relief, most people say it's a form of energy that enables them to stay wide awake. Now what's behind the regular consumption has been an issue in the past and also at present. We now hear more on Healthy Minds with Dr. Ami. is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Welcome to Healthy Mind. Well, you as me, Hamamas True Law, bring him one plot topic, Amy by creating some plot kind, thinking, law you play it, now can make a big difference, law. Lifestyle blow you me, now law country blow you me, or same law, Papua New Guinea, yes, number one straight. Well, a little sensitive topic, but let me talk about betel nut chewing. Well, it is important for us to sometimes sit and think about our habits and what we do in our life and what are we doing and where are we going from here now on. It's all about understanding betel nut chewing. Many of you might think that you may come up with this topic law, way law, Bagarapim thinking blow me plan no gut because using meat betel nut is 
different from abusing betel nut or misusing betel nut? Well, the major active ingredient is called aracalin in that betel nut and also there are other chemicals that are also emistap or sem they are neurochemical that means the chemicals which works in the brain and they are called acetylcholine now also this particular drug is seen in western pacific region and also asia and africa and many part of the world it is an ancient drug and you may use him only in the ceremonies and in religious activities you know, or simply you me use him, abuse him, or one him kind way ill or bagrap him life lo you me, they had their timing to use in certain part of their life or in a, in certain ceremonies. It derived from the beetle palm and also we sometimes they chew with a fresh chunk or dried powder or chew them with mustard and other things in different worlds with the leaves, mustard leaves in a kind kind way. Now by bagarapim, you know, red color and become, you know, also stain him teeth too, so also him this. So you may understand him. When you chew this betel nut, what happens? The symptoms, the moment you chew, we must remember, are we getting faked by the action blow chewing wood betel nut and what are these symptoms and come and you worry now problem blow you may start now time you chewing betel nut what happens you become euphoric you laugh but actually you are suffering inside aren't we so symptom time you chew betel nut you have a euphoria that means you laugh laugh nothing law half or same you can't stop laughing General arousal, that means lobodia, you feeling alert, or same increased motor activity, you become very active, you want to do things, time you know chewing beetle now, you go slack now, you depressed now, you know hamama straight. The physical changes time you use is beetle nut is you start sweating, increases the saliva in your uh, mouth, now tearing of the eyes, feeling warm and high blood pressure. It increases the blood pressure, increases the breathing and also your face become red because the blood circulations are going on and decreases the appetite and some blood time and can create him diarrhea. So by you look at Mosem, this kind of, it is a drug, okay? So you are taking this drug and it is, that's the effect. So through through, you are no hammer muscle or body blow you me or some problem or kind kind issue and missed up. The moment you chew betel nut, then you are feeling that way. It is, so you're getting faked from there is not a genuine feeling or some laugh, nothing, but inside you worry. But using this kind of betel nut, it can lead you to addiction in the future and also habituation. You can't because every time you feel him, you know, how much you go back and you keep on chewing just to feel that fake effect of that chemical for that moment. And then, and by losing you high, not dry, but you as a human being getting addicted to it and becoming habituated to it, and you become ultimately become dependent. So if you don't take, uh, you know, betel nut anymore, you're not happy at all. And that can also lead you to psychosis. So if these are mental health issues, you need to be very aware when you abuse and misuse, uh, you know, betel nut, because uh, some blood time you may must think him or say, uh, how now you may can come out of it, how you may can help him, you blah, must think him plenty low this last side. So the Araka nut can have effect, that is long term effects, almost all organs in the body get affected. Number one, it affects the heart, brain, lungs and your intestinal system and your reproductive organs. It can also aggravate pre-existing conditions like heart diseases or any heart problems or any neurological problems and by exaggerate now making big plus sick by hand come up. Number two, also discoloration of the 
teeth and gum and turning reddish and brown. Now you savvy, you smile. Are you going to have a smart teeth? Look at it, be careful. Mouth ulcer, cancer, now gum diseases, now oral cancer, now also pre-cancer conditions and also mouth cancer and liver ca cancer also, carcinoma of the liver also associated, liquid lodisla. Now stomach ulcer is one of the long-term using of that and heart diseases me no exaggerating these are happening you are not aware what is happening to your life needing to use more to get the same effect so you're getting tolerance so you keep on not one boy for one kina now another uh, two months you have to have how many kina you have to spend more yet dependence on the beetle nut and what happens financially you have issues work issues social problems and metabolic syndrome so because it interferes your metabolically and it can create diabetic onset that means blood sugar issues and using beetle nut and other drugs can have other effect can have produced in your body some, some kind of toxic reactions like you take so many other drugs and also uh, drinking alcohol or any herbal medications what you're taking and then you are taking beetle nut they have toxic reaction can interfere creating asthma or hypertension and cancer and so on. In a pregnant woman preterm birth low birth weight and early pre you know the you know like problem low DNA now this la kind baby too can have issues with the baby yeah you know not good uh, baby or this la kind problem low time is, you know birth is happening also only piney more same thyroid problem and infertility you may not have babies in the future or same I'm um, you know frightening you am all same research and talk or same now me like talk talk you know or same strong blood talk talk me like talk or same low prostate uh, you know prostate law all males here yeah, and prostate can enlarge too so these are all what they have found during research the long-term effect of abusing and misusing and um, beetle nut which you need to be a bit more careful so what why are we doing because psychological dependence stuff you got problem you got issues you're not solving it the only way you're solving is to seek for uh, you know beetle nut you know you bugger up in you yet stuff so you feel tiredness and also when uh, stop chewing you get very upset and tired and you want to go back so well viewers go back and check tonight or from now on when I say identify why are you using beetle nut how much are you using it start cutting it down for your sake it's not for my sake for your sake and for your family's sake and for your health sake set priorities in your life and set goals and what causing for you to chew more I'm not telling you to enjoy a one chewing for a day or two chewing but I'm talking about don't get into major way to destroy your life and chew too much get into problem solving skills so that you can get down keep track of how much you are chewing and have you have a time out and decrease your chewing amount strategies think think good plow through or same or no gut get some black kind help now get your goal to be achieved soon as possible well we need to understand more on uh, beetle nut chewing well what i can say in if you want to sell beetle nut start an industry and make it uh, an industry to sell and share it rather than misuse and abuse it has got a big effect in your life and your loved one's life well viewers i would love you all to understand uh, alcohol beetle nut cigarette and all other drugs can have a major impact in your life and your life you know loved one's life put in papa god first now get yourself to be problem solving get yourself to be who you are and enjoy your one and only life with papa god and our loved ones until next time take care and god bless you bye bye now Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. It is evident that regular beetle nut chewing can leave you vulnerable to mouth cancer and other negative results. So keep yourself healthy, 
think twice before going for Bilna because if you take more than you should, you might be getting yourself into a serious danger. It all comes back to the mindset. We we'll take a quick breather and we'll catch up on the other side with a fantastic entertainment on House Movie. Welcome back. You're watching House and Home with stories on home and lifestyle improvement and a couple of independence specials. Certain individuals have a different taste in watching movies. There are specific movies that people just can't get enough of and keep watching frequently. Some say it's annoying, but on the other hand, it more or less gives them a fair idea to honestly give their opinion when it comes to movie ratings. Here now is House Movie for another fantastic movie review. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The year was 1939, and this particular film was a modest box office when it was released. However, when it was released onto television in 1956 for the first time, MGM's grand Technicolor fantasy film, The Wizard of Oz, captured millions of hearts the world over. Since then, this beloved classic has become a tradition to be viewed by families. Now, throughout the years, there have been many, many different takes on the classic tale, the most recent being the 2013 fantasy epic, Oz the Great and Powerful. And good news, it'll be airing right here on MTV this Sunday night. Now, here's what I thought of the movie. I might not actually be a wizard. Yes, but they don't know that. Oz the Great and Powerful is a fantasy adventure film that serves as a prequel or reimagining of the origins from the characters of L. Frank Baum's Wizard of Oz book series, and it was directed by Sam Raimi. And it has a lot of influences and throwbacks to other iterations of the novel, especially the 1939 classic The Wizard of Oz and the Broadway musical Wicked. Now, the film is centered on magician Oscar Diggs and his life in a traveling circus. This is where we're first introduced to Oscar, as in THE Wizard of Oz Oscar, and he's not exactly what you're expecting. He's a womanizing con man who's on the nerves of everyone around him. And after he wears out the welcome of the traveling circus, he tries to escape on a hot air balloon, but is then sucked up into a tornado and swept off into the magical world of Oz, where he gets caught in a power struggle between three rival witches and a prophecy that expects great things from him. Right off the bat though, I absolutely love this whole entry into Oz sequence. How it goes from boring, plain old Kansas to wonderful, magical Oz. It's a beautiful throwback to the first Wizard of Oz film and actually takes a page right out of it as an identical scene, going from dull and boring to magic and fantasy, and serves as a testament to how visually stunning the movie is. From the moment we see Oz, it's just breathtaking. From the wonderful CGI dreamscapes of the world to the design and execution of the non-human characters and non-live action scenes. They're just expertly crafted and they look amazing. There are some rather heavy CGI scenes in the movie, especially the battle scenes with the flying baboons and the Emerald City intro scenes. And they look incredible. They manage to blend well with the non-animated characters and it looks wonderful and marvelous without sacrificing the immersion. The world of Oz looks creative, spectacular and just awe-inspiring. Now, another thing I liked about this movie is the story. Now, this is basically an origin tale for a lot of the characters that are in 1939's Wizard of Oz. So it tells us stuff like how the wizard got to Oz and how the Wicked Witch of the West became evil. And what I really like about this was Oscar's character arc. With the help of Franco's performance, you really see the character grow and change successfully, which, when you drill down to it, is the backbone of the story. It's Oscar's story, showing us how he goes from con man to great man. Are you the great man we've been waiting for? I think I could be. And in this regard, it gives the film some emotional depth, which it balances really well with its humor. And this movie is quite funny. I mean, these characters are definitely, they definitely ooze depth and humor. You'll die, you'll die! Did those crows just say we're gonna die? And even the ridiculously one-dimensional ones have enough, wa have enough to warrant them the screen time that they get. Now, another testament to the strength of the visuals, as well as the writing of the characters in regards to the depth and heart, is the fact that two of my favorite characters, uh, the flying monkey and the little china girl, were all non-human and all CGI. And that's another thing I really liked about this movie. It's got heart. I mean, when you take the emotional depth and the humor and you balance them so well, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling inside that makes you glad that you're watching this movie. And sure, at times, the movie attempts to be bigger than it 
is. So at some places you feel it pushing that and you're left with this deflated sense of wonder. But in my opinion, it exceeds in giving you this awe-inspiring feeling, which I absolutely enjoyed. You are capable of more than you know. From the director that brought you movies like Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and even Spider-Man, I really wasn't sure what to expect when I was going in to see this movie. I absolutely loved The Wizard of Oz, so I was excited and anxious to see what Raimi would do with this prequel reimagining the spiritual predecessor. But I was pleasantly surprised with the heart in this movie, how visually incredible it is, and the arcs that these characters go through, especially with the character of Oscar. It sort of gives the character in the original Wizard of Oz a little more impact, and not very many prequels can achieve that. This movie is definitely an enjoyable laugh, and you'll enjoy it even more if you're a fan of the original Wizard of Oz. Now, before you go out and think of buying this on DVD, you can just clear your plans for this Sunday night. Oz the Great and Powerful airs this Sunday night, only on MTV, your number one to watch. Just like how Godfrey Man clearly puts it, it goes from boring, plain old Kansas to wonderful magical odds. Fantastic review. Viewers, one advice, don't just watch the first part of a movie and start off with the negatives. Watch it, let it digest, and give your honest opinion right at the end, just like what Godfrey Man did. Coming up after the break, Billie Jean shows you the correct steps on how to properly iron your hair. Welcome back. The only way to keep yourself healthy and fit is to take good care of yourself. Everybody has the right to look their best. It is all about grooming. On Home Cosmetics, we bring to you some tips on how to properly iron your hair by following the right steps. Here's Billie Jean to help us with the process. Hello and welcome to Home Cosmetics. I'm Billie Jean. When it comes to beauty, there are few things that we pay more attention to than others, such as our face and hair. And these two stand out from the whole dressing. Especially when it comes to hairstyling, we take up a lot of time. One of which is air ironing. But do not worry, we're going to show you simple steps to iron your hair properly. So let's get into it. Before ironing your hair, make sure that your hair is clean. Apply hair cream or spray that will protect your hair from the heat. Comb your hair with a white tooth comb after applying. You can wash your hair and blow dry it if you have a blow dryer. If not, use a towel to pat down your hair as this will prevent your hair from getting frizzy. Let's get started. This is a straight hair ironing style. Plug in your iron and flick the switch to on. As you can see, this is a simple hair straightener. But there will be others that will have numbers, heat setting that you can adjust to your desired heat level. The thicker and frizzier your hair, the higher the numbered setting should be. If your hair is particularly thin and brittle, make sure to set your straightener to the lowest number to avoid damaging your hair. Separate your hair into several sections. The number of sections will depend on the thickness of your hair. The key is to make sections 1 to 2 inches thick so that you can easily pass through the straightener. Clip or do up a bun on the sections you are not using out of the way as you straighten each individual section. Then take each individual section to straighten it. Place the straightener as close to the roots of the section as possible without burning yourself. This will usually mean that your straightener will start about an inch from your scalp. Clamp the iron down so that the heated sides touch and your hair rest between them. Be sure not to clamp too firmly as this will create a fridge in the top of the hair section where you start straightening. Additionally, be sure not to hold the flat iron in the same spot for too long as doing so will also cause a ridge to form in your hair. Run the flat iron down the length of section of your hair. Your motion should be a fluid and steady sweep from the roots to the ends. Run the straightener over the section several times until it is completely straight. 
Depending on the thickness of your hair, you may only have to do this once, or you may have to run the straightener over a section of the hair several times. The strength of the flat iron will also determine how many times you have to run the iron particularly on a particular section. Move the straightened piece out of the way and unclip a new section of your hair. You may need to brush each section before straightening it if it is tangled while it was pinned. If your hair is prone to freeze, apply a hairspray or setting serum to each section immediately after straightening. When you are done with the rest of the section, apply a hairspray or post straightening product or a setting spray to keep your hair straight all day. So I hope you have took notes of these simple steps. This is how I do it, very simple. And remember to keep yourself beautiful both inside and out. Join me next time for more home cosmetic tips. Bye bye. Thanks Billie Jean for that. I'm sure most of you have a fair idea now. So go ahead, try the steps and look your best for the independence celebrations. Well viewers, we've come to the end of our show. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. For any comments or any of our features, contact the House and Home team on the email address now showing on your screen. You can also get in touch with us through our House at Home Facebook page. And to view this episode again, visit MTV Online. And remember that there's more that you can get for your home and lifestyle improvement when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Until the next time, I'm Theresa Miria, and on behalf of the House and Home team, we wish you all a safe and happy Independence Day. Goodbye. Yeah.